Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. I uh, want to talk about changing your lifestyle now under the conditions that you can control because you are being set up for a lifestyle change, uh, a lifestyle change that uh, you will not like uh, and not for the better. Your life will not improve, your lifestyle will not improve, your comforts will not improve, they will only get worse. Um, yesterday we had an $85 billion jump in the debt that brings up to 33 trillion 500 and no 652 billion dollars and some of you your eyes have just rolled in the to the back of your head and you say dave i'm tired of you talking about these numbers these numbers are your life these numbers are your uh conditions that you will live under and what is happening is it is a full scale collapse uh they have to keep borrowing money and they're borrowing money at a rate unseen. So you can dismiss my numbers. I get people that say, Dave, I'm tired of you talking about the numbers. This is your life. Your lifestyle will collapse. Your lifestyle will be a lifestyle uh, that you will complain about. So I'm trying to warn you. I'm trying to set you up for success. Um, you can listen or you can continue on. So if your lifestyle includes a cable TV I know people that spend way over a hundred dollars because they got to have this premium channel um, you need to cut it out and if you don't cut it out do not cry to anyone but yourself when your life is totally drastically harder and it will be because the numbers on the debt will correspond to your comfort and it is it is in a full-scale uh, crash that's all I can tell you um, I, I don't want to be mean I don't want to beat a dead horse but if you're not changing your lifestyle right now you cannot just go get up and go to work and say oh, I'm gonna work hard today and I'm gonna be okay if you continue doing that uh, and you don't reevaluate what you're doing with your money uh, what you're doing with your time you're gonna be in a lot of trouble you cannot solve the world's problems. You can't even solve America's problems. Uh, try to solve, you know, your problem. And the problem will be there's people out there in this government uh, that want you dead. Basically, they want you dead. Uh, they don't care about you. Uh, and, and that is clearly shown by the endless wars that our politicians get us into. Endless wars. Countless men and women have to perish. Uh, for their agenda and it is a, they're warmongers as a soldier I hate war war is terrible uh, if you've been to war uh, and you were actually a trigger puller you never want it to happen again but no our administration now uh, past administrations be it Republican or Democrat like to solve problems with war we are probably going to go into a regional war do I have a crystal ball? No. I can just look at history. I can look at what's happening. Um, Joe Biden has killed, reduced, decimated our strategic petroleum reserve. I think he, his administration has taken it from 640 million barrels to 450. I think that's 190 million barrels of oil that he thought he could, you know, put them into the market, reduce gas prices for us. That's not the purpose of the strategic oil reserve. Let free market dictates, but you thought you could help. And you know what, you might've dropped gas prices by a penny or two, but now we're going into a war uh, with not our tanks full. Iran could, because if they control the Persian Gulf and the Strait there, could reduce the oil to the world by almost 25 percent that's just them reducing it that's going to drive up oil prices can you imagine if we had oil oils down a few cents today um, if we had 150 dollar or 150 dollar a barrel oil just imagine gasoline doubling could you afford it could you afford to go to walmart knowing they're going to raise their prices because their delivery trucks had to use a lot more fuel no it'd be detrimental to our country so that is why they are buttering up venezuela uh, our policy is changing towards them 
we, we want them on our side. We want them to export more oil and we're going to take our sanctions off against them. Uh, and when I'm looking at that, I can say, whoa, somebody is scared that oil is going to be in short supply, maybe because of a war. Um, so to me, that's a, another indicator that they're planning something the powers to be. Um, today, later today, the uh, existing home sales are going to be out. The real estate market is collapsing. And the reason is it's because interest rates on mortgages are about 8%. So what's happening is people that would like to move, uh, they can't move because they're tied into maybe a 2 or 3% interest rate. And immediately, if they sell their house and go find another house, they're looking at 8% interest rates, which is, you can't do it. It would just make your monthly payment so much higher. So that number is going to come out today. Um, the BRICS nation will have to be destroyed. We cannot let, and I'm not saying we need to do this. I'm just saying that's what the powers to be. I don't want to destroy the BRICS nation. Uh, I want to live in peace. I want to have a fair trading system throughout the world. Uh, we can't have a fair trading system with other nations when we can print money. They have to go out and work. They have to produce something. They have to do something. We fire up the printing press as evidence of that uh, $85 billion yesterday or last night um, of new money. Biden administration is calling for over $100 million to give away. So let's see. We're going to borrow $100 because billion, we don't have it. We're probably going to borrow it from China, other nations, other investors. We're going to pay them about 5% interest we will never pay that back um, our kids will be indebted so the numbers I'm throwing at you goes back to one thing your lifestyle you're probably saying Dave I'm barely making it now I you know I got to put gas in the car I got to go to work I got all these bills and, and I understand that but if you continue the way you're going without doing some drastic changes and the change I want you to make is to be a producer of something to see if you can stop that flow of dollars out. So cut some bills, sell some stuff. Um, you need to, if you're gonna sell something now, sell it now. If it's not vital for your survival, if it's not a tool, if it's you know just some fluffy thing you got, if you can sell it, sell it now. People are hurting. So people don't have a lot of money. As this thing progresses, that luxury item that you have to sell might be only worth half of, it is, half of what it is today. So I'm preaching, I know, to the choir. You guys are prepping, you're preparing, you're getting ready. But every dollar that you have, you need to use wisely. Use that money to become more self-sufficient, to be more sustainable. I would love to see you, if you had 50 bucks, don't put it into, you know, the boob tube. The idiot box, uh, having the most premium channels, put it into, hey, maybe planting a few blueberry tree bushes or maybe, hey, maybe I can expand the garden. Maybe I can do this. Uh, maybe I can buy some tools so I can fix my own thing so I don't have to call the repairman. So your lifestyle is going to be changed. I don't know if it's going to be changed tomorrow, a week from now, a month from now, two years from now. I have no idea, but I can assure you the debt matters. Those little numbers on the screen as they're flipping by. Uh, I think we just almost got to every taxpayer. So if you work and your wife works, you're both taxpayers. Your debt, just your share of the debt, is I think 259000 almost 260000 So your husband and wife, you're over a half a million dollars your share of the debt. Now, when I say your share of the debt, I'm going to get 50 comments saying, it's not mine, I didn't authorize. It is yours. You are a slave to the system, just like I'm a slave to the system. One day, me and you and all those other millions of Americans might smarten up and say, you know what? The way they're running the government since, you can go all the way back to forever, but let's just go back to 9-11 when we were attacked. Look what happened. They use that attack to take away some of our civil liberties. The Patriot Act, the 20 year war in Afghanistan. That in itself, just leaving all of that equipment is criminal. 
people with character, backbone, morals. We should have rose up then and said, hey, what the heck are you leaving all this equipment for our enemies? And they are our enemies. I wish they weren't our enemies, but we have poked our nose into every place on the earth. And we do that. Why? So we can keep the U.S. Federal Reserve note, the king. Because without that, the king, we collapse overnight, literally. And with the threat of the BRICS nation coming out with their own currency, their own system, uh, that's just going to make our system collapse even quicker. That is one reason why we have to put our, you know, nose in everything. You might say, Dave, what's going on in Ukraine? I don't see it in the news. Ukraine is a lost cause. Sorry to say. Peace is the only option. Russia is definitely moving. They're moving their lines. They're gobbling up more terrain. But we're not hearing about it. So the money was cut off because of the Congress. And let's talk about the Congress. We can't even the Republicans. I don't know why I said we, because it's not me. The Republican representatives can't even agree on a leader. And they're supposed to get this country out of an economic hole? Unbelievable. I hope and pray we can fix this. But you can say we can vote people out, we can do this. I, it's, it, the fix we need is not a physical fix. It's a spiritual fix. Look at our country. Our country's gone down a path of wickedness. It's just wickedness. The agendas that are being pushed. So it's not, we're going to not fix it by voting. We're going to fix it by praying, getting on our knees, asking for forgiveness as a country, and then trying to remedy it. I, physic I don't think physically we could fix the financial system. We're too far in debt. It would take divine intervention. Or putting us on a plan that would fix it would probably collapse the economy. So I don't think there's any fixing. So you worry about your lifestyle. Not now, but what it's going to look like when this collapse occurs. Try to be self-sustaining, self-sufficient, self-reliant. And that's going to rely on you getting out. Throw your Facebook account away. Throw it away. You have all these friends that really aren't friends. That is one of the problems that we're causing because you don't have to talk to your neighbors. You don't have to talk to anybody because you'll just get there and oh, look what I'm having for dinner. I'm going here to the movies. I'm do Nobody cares what you're eating. Nobody cares you're going to the movies. Get some real friends. Friends that can give you a hug in real life when you're down or friends that can come over and help you or friends that can rejoice when you have a new child or rejoice anytime there's something good. You put your arm around them. You can hold them. You can say, you're awesome. Thanks for being my friend. Facebook friends got to go. They're pushing you in a direction that, that's why people are lonely. That's why people are reaching out saying, I got no friends. Throw Facebook away and go meet some people. So, man, I've been ranting. Sorry, I only wanted a few minutes just to talk about the debt. But the debt is real numbers that are going to collapse your lifestyle. So prepare. Thanks for watching.